Hello everyone! Welcome to Off The Record Linden Shades. Um, this is the first Off The Record game because I just randomly played number two and number three way back. So I figured let's go back and play number one. <laughs> Complete the series. I think there's like one more or something like that, but yeah. Um, I don't know why the intro was like no sound, but... Alright, kidnap children. Not good. Let's see... Sure. Thank you. Come in. Good, you're here. Listen, I want you to do me a favor and investigate a potential story. You see, I ran across this old photo in the archives, and it reminded me of a time when I was still a reporter. It was 1969, and my editor sent me to Linden Shades, an orphanage on a farm just outside the city. The orphanage was supposedly haunted. Authorities relocated the children and closed the orphanage, even though they concluded that the ghost stories were a bunch of nonsense. But they were wrong. I saw those children's drawings. They all had one thing in common, bloody red monsters. Those children were afraid. Heck, even I was afraid when I saw those drawings. The principal said she had proof that what the children saw was real. She said she had it on film. She wanted to show it to me, but then the phone rang. It was my editor. He sent me to cover a breaking story, and it ended up being the one that made my career. I left and never looked back. But I've never been able to shake the feeling that we missed something out there. The place is abandoned now. Head out there and see if you can dig up anything. Maybe you'll find the truth. I forgot Apex used to do it like this. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was a fast taxi. It just came in, what yeeted us out the door, and then ran away. Sure, I feel weird not having the interactive help, honestly. I finally found it! Linden Shades! It's a real pity that it's been neglected like this. Must have been beautiful ones. When the cursor ho hovers over an object you can pick up, it will turn into a hand. Pick up the object. The cursor will, cursor will turn into rotating gears over areas where you can get more information or use objects from the inventory. Pick up the apple and then apply it to the lantern. <laughs> we'll, like, throw it. Something fell to the ground! I should see what it is. Oh, that's my rice. Hold up. Uh, Alright, I actually totally forgot that I put, <laughs> put the rice cooker on before I started recording. You can explore some areas further. When the cursor hits these trees... Oh, wow. Why? My god. Please. Read the correct letters. When the cursor hits these areas, it will turn into a magnifying glass. Examine the piece that fell from the lantern. Legitimate. Oh my god. Yeah, I am just not here. Sparkles indicate areas where you can search for more items. Explore this area. Find all the items from the list below. Items written in red are concealed by other objects or require assembly before they can be picked up. When in doubt, use the hint button. Uh, I was like, does this go with box of chocolates? Uh, doubtful. Look at this turtle! Or maybe it's a tortoise, I'm not sure. Uh, it's a tortoise, isn't it? Those are the ones who live on land? Something like that. Oh, I need actually four apples. Okay. Uh, Okay, where is the blanket? Oh, 
Why can I not see it? Come on. Like a whole blanket? Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Actually, it feels kind of nice to play like an old, like, original, or like, old original, but like an older Apex game, honestly. Uh, it ru it's rusted shut. I'll need something sturdy to pry this mailbox open. This place has been abandoned for a long, a long time. Naturally, the gate is locked. Or like, rusted shut. I don't know if it needs to still be locked. It could just be... Linden Shades must have been a beautiful estate. It's so peaceful out here. Oh, here we go. Hmm, this doesn't look like a random scribble. Important information and comments are stored in the diary. You can access it anytime through the typewriter. The sign... The sign seems to be nailed tight. Keep out. During mini games, the question mark button will provide instructions. The skip button can be used to skip the puzzle entirely, but only after a certain time period has passed. To open the gate, I should turn all the pieces blue using the sun and moon buttons. According to the note I found, the sun will rotate the pieces one sp space counterclockwise, so left, while the moon should move them two paces clockwise, so right. This should be a snap. Um. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess that is counterclockwise, but like, oh my god. <sighs> sure, sure, I guess that is counterclockwise technically. Oh, I accidentally did it right. Well then. <laughs> Woohoo! The cur cursor. Blah. The cursor will turn into an arrow when navigating to a new location. Wow. When navigation to a new location is possible, move towards the pathway. Oh, people. Hey there, stranger. I'm Bob Walker. I own the farm next door, and I saw you going through that gate. Lots of folks poked around here in the past, but never found anything. They say that Linden Shades is haunted, but I don't believe in that, Huey. Uh, good. Yeah, no, like, that's a whole human, bro. Someone at the window, you say? Hmm, but nobody lives there now. It's abandoned. It must be your imagination. <laughs> I love people like, what's well, abandoned? It's just, not phys it's just, like, physically impossible for anyone to be inside. It's like, bro, people, like, walk inside abandoned buildings all the time. Like, there's not a force field around it. But better safe than sorry, I always say. That's why I don't let my son play around here anymore. I'd love to chat, but I've got a lot of work to do. So long. Bye. Uh, for help with navigation, use the map. It's right next to the hint button. I should explore the property. Indeed. Completing the tutorial. Oh, thank you. The barn seems to be in good shape, unlike the rest of the estate. It's a long shot, but if I find the missing pieces, maybe I can figure out how to open the barn door. Oh, hello. I don't think there are collectibles in this game. I'm not sure. The tutorial should have showed me, so no. That old windmill has seen better days, that's for sure. Farmhouse garden, okay. I think I just saw someone at the window. I hope it was just a reflection. Farmhouse entrance. Okay. Oh, you know what? I wanted to- oh. I see. Spurs.
and hair bows. Yeah, I should be finding a lot more spurs, I feel like. Uh, potato sack, tomato, duct tape. Jewelry case. Corn and dandelion. Okay, well, it's actually there. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Yo. <clears throat> Go to the garden first. Hello? Hey, who are you? Hey, wait! He's gone. Oh, there are collectibles! Oh my god. Wait a minute. Where is the. Huh. Where is my... There's the strategy guide, thank you. Bonus. Oh my god, there are so many collectibles, what the heck? Oh, there's a toy, okay. And there's supposed to be something here. But I guess I can't open it yet. Yes, you saw a boy peeking through. Crayons, toys, and letters. Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, wow. Uh, no, yeah, I'm going to be using the guide. Um, just no. <laughs> no. Okay, there. Okay, this one has all three. All right. Should have a toy here somewhere. Oh, no, it was a crayon. My bad. Okay. Yeah, no, we are going to be using that. Um, oh, well, I guess I know what I'm looking for now, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm about to use this guide. An audio cassette! I should play it on my tape recorder. Maybe there's useful information on it. I don't know why, but all the children are drawing the same thing. A red boogeyman. They say it appears at night. Kids do have wild imaginations, but how could they all imagine the same thing? It's Kim's birthday today, and to cheer them up, we're throwing a party. The kids will love it. I hope that there are more tapes like this one. It could help me piece the story together. The screwdriver is completely useless without a handle. Sure. You can still put it in your pocket. The scarecrow is falling apart. It's missing his head, hat, and gloves. You know what I have? I have a head. Just casually walking around with a head in my pocket. Who doesn't, really? I haven't seen any ladders around here. If I want to reach that nest, I've got to improvise. Magpies usually stash shiny items in their nests. I could take a look at the one in the birdhouse, but it's out of reach. Entrance... Oh, letters, like, literally the letters of the alphabet. Okay. Oh, hi. Kids see the world as their canvas. I only wish this drawing was merrier. <laughs> Indeed. There's no way I can open the window without breaking it. I should look for another way in. Oh, there's a crayon, actually. Haha, -ha, I saw that. This oil can is empty, but I could refill it. I just need some oil. Well, take it with you then. The 
The screws are pretty badly rusted. Some grease or oil could loosen them up. I can see a key on the other side, but I can't reach it through this tiny slit. I'll need a key to open this. I have nails, ladder, crossbars, and a hammer. Okay. Feels like here. I like the feel of playing this game. I like the gameplay feel of it. Hello. This magpie looks angry. Uh, you're about to raid his home. What do you think? I better be careful. If only I could get rid of the bird somehow. With a rug? <laughs> Chisel. Oh, wait. Can we use that um, here? Wow. Even at Christmas? Bruh. Okay, let's actually read this in the diary. I've arrived at Linden Shades. The place looks pretty nice in the bright sunlight, and it's hard to imagine that anything strange ever happened here. The ghost stories that brought my editor to this orphanage several years ago seem hard to believe. But then again, his instincts has led to good stories many times in the past. I guess I'll see for myself what's behind this mystery soon enough. I found this note on the gate of Linden Shades. It shows a blue circle divided into eight equal parts as a par part of some intricate design. It also depicts a sun on the left side of the circle and a moon on the right. There are also some numbers written on it. I should hold on to this. It might be important. The strangest thing happened as I was talking to Bob, the neighbor from the farm next to the orphanage. I mean, I'm sure he's sus. I thought I saw a figure in the window right there in broad daylight. I could scarcely believe my eyes, but that figure immediately reminded me of the scary children's drawings that my editor mentioned. On the bright side, there really could be a story behind Linden Shades. I found some beautiful stained glass on the barn door. It shows mirror images of a bear in the wilderness, but part of it is damaged. If I find the missing pieces, maybe I can restore the glass and open the door. No doors remain closed to a good reporter. I saw, I saw a boy peeking through the hole in the gate in the backyard. Might be Bob's son. But he ran away as soon as he noticed me. I assume that's Bob's son snooping around. Yeah. Bob sure wouldn't like him sneaking around the house, but I guess boys will be boys. Oh my god, I hate that saying. Ugh. Maybe he could tell me more about what's happening here. There's a drawing of a red monster on the wall of the orphanage. My editor told me about these drawings, mentioning that all the kids drew them. That red thing could be the same figure I caught a glimpse of in one of the windows. I don't like this one bit, but there's definitely something going on around here. There's something about this drawing that puts my nerves on the edge. It looks like a regular child's drawing, except for that strange red thing outside the window. I'm pretty much convinced that there were some really weird things going on around here several years ago that scared all those kids. In fact, something strange is still happening, and it's all connected to that red figure. Uh, oh, okay, evidence. Okay, I see. Gloves and a hat. Okay, map, help me. The farmhouse garden. Oh, right, you need it. Here we go. Oh, perfect. We can get into the farm now. Well, next episode, because time is up. But yes. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy to be playing this game. <laughs> uh, I'm a little I'm I'm a little not here, clearly. My brain has a hard time working. Um Thank you all very much for watching, however, and I'll see ya!